So, uh, y'all have been asking me to make Hero 3, and I hear you. So I figured, you guys can make it yourselves with my brand new two-page TTRPG. This heroically dense RPG places you as a plucky hero with your band of himbos to set off to fulfill some kind of important quest. With this system, you can reenact all your favorite moments from your favorite anime, Hero the Dense. You can parlay with demons, retrieve legendary artifacts, encounter dragons, goblins, dryads, and all sorts of different mythical creatures. From weightlifting dwarves to catboy bandits to portals to other dimensions and even bloodthirsty gnomes. The rules are literally only two pages long, with a few extra pages for GM tables and stuff if that helps them. Probably would take you only about one to two hours per session. And to overview what your five stats are, they are your himbo, which stands for your heart, which is how pure of heart and positive you are. It's your ability to keep going when otherwise you couldn't, as well as your ability to keep your promise and your ability to resist heartburn. Interest, which your brain is made of lead, but you still have some random interests that are you weirdly knowledgeable about. Use this when your ability to pronounce the hard dinosaur names randomly comes in handy. Macho is your bravery and your likelihood to rush headfirst into problems, as well as your ability to show off and pose. Biceps is your physical might and strength, and how physically fit you are. Use this if you ever need to deadlift, or if you just need to show off your rippling muscles and abs, and let them do the talking. And lastly, your obliviousness. You can't be tricked because you weren't even paying attention. Some people believe this is the hallmark of purity. Use it to resist deception and temptation, as well as to totally misunderstand the situation and confound your attackers. If you want more information about how to play, it's available for free over here at this link that's in the description. Go look. It's available for free. You can get it for free. No money. You don't need to pay anything. You do not need to be a Patreon subscriber or anything like that. Go down below. Click the link. Get it. Anyway, here's a bit of a recap of a session that I ran. The party consisted of Beefcake, a minotaur paladin who specialized in animal handling. Thog, the orc barbarian, who is a master of origami, who practiced his origami on literally anything. Farv, the bard, with his long golden locks and glistening oiled body. And Greg, the monk, who was also a baker and specialized in cooking. Their mission? To deliver a legendary scepter through the swamp to its recipient. The swamp itself was guarded by a green dragon and their entourage of kobolds. Immediately upon entering the swamp, they managed to find that a section of it was just completely on fire, and worse, there was a puppy orphanage trapped in the middle. Thinking fast, they proceeded to ignore the bucket they had in their inventory, and instead opted to lift the entire puppy orphanage out of the swamp and into the water. Later, they encountered a section of the swamp that seemed relatively incomplete. Turns out that the goblin workers that were working on the swamp and building it were on strike. They had unionized and they basically had a list of complaints and stuff for their boss. They decided to talk with them and decided to represent them, offering to take the list of demands to the boss themselves. In return, the four men decided to show them a secret passage through the caverns to get to the other side of the swamp. Along the way, they heard voices talking in their head, whispering things such as, kill your friends, commit tax evasion, dance. Farv immediately took advantage of this and began dancing. He danced so well, in fact, that the voice actually decided to materialize. Turns out that it was a ghost girl, who decided that Farv was now her boyfriend, and that he was going to have to stay with her forever. Beef decided to ask why. Why was she stuck here? And she thought for a moment, and then realized she wasn't stuck there. So they acquired a ghost girl. On the other side of the swamp, they encountered the boss of the area, the green dragon, and gave them the list of the demands. Turns out that the dragon was also the recipient for the scepter that they were trying to deliver. And after accidentally suggesting they wanted to put eggs in her, and then inadvertently suggesting eating those eggs, she sent them off in disgust, though not before giving them another order, to deliver a book to the wizard that originally gave them the quest. On the way back, they encountered the goblin worker that they met in the Union before, who said that the work was now completed and that the swamp was done, and offered to give them a trial run of it. Heading through the swamp, they encountered three obstacles, the first of which was a punji pit. Thinking craftily, they decided to construct a catapult and then had their ghost girlfriend launch them across the pit. After which, she asked why they didn't just go around it, considering it was just a pit in the middle of nowhere. Next, they heard rustling, as they saw pointy red hats appear out of the foliage. Gnomes. They all froze, immediately assuming the position of garden humans, as the gnomes, bloodthirsty and bloodshot eyes, slowly started crawling out, making weird noises with oh, oh, as they looked around. They patted Greg's knee, but they remained motionless, stuck frozen in their manly poses. Eventually, the gnomes passed, as they managed to dodge the most terrifying encounter they've had to date. 
And finally, right as they made it to the edge, they encountered a silhouetted figure who approached them, snarling and laughing. They looked very similar to Greg, except they had a mustache. It was his evil twin, Jim the Spicy Meatball. A battle ensued. Greg threw sugar on him, startling him with the sweetness. Well, Beef managed to pelt him with eggs, blinding him. In a panic, Jim reached into his pouch and pulled out an MK2 hand grenade from World War II. Thinking fast, Favre decided to pose, blinding him a second time, which was strong enough to actually paralyze him even though he couldn't even see. While he was stunned, Thog quickly grabbed the grenade and wolfed it down, giving himself a bad case of heartburn as it exploded in his gut. And Greg was finishing up a banana who Jim, as soon as becoming unfrozen, promptly stepped on the peel of, and began sliding, sliding off into the distance, back into the punji pit that they encountered earlier. He was impaled with a loud resounding, ow. So anyway, yeah, the uh, entire thing was very stupid. It was very fun. And they completed the mission successfully. Huzzah. There were also some other things I kind of skipped over just in the interest of time, but for instance... Uh, Thog liked to use his origami skills to fold up their tent and then didn't know how to unfold them. Beef had previously acquired the eggs from managing to get a bunch of chickens to ovulate by imitating a rooster. And the party was also robbed by a catboy bandit who didn't really get anything from them because he was a catboy and nobody wanted to take him seriously. So yeah, uh, check the link in the description. Itch.io link is right there where you can download the PDF. Go play. Have fun. Nom,